Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam uh, and today we'll be uh, knowing about the email marketing campaign. In our previous session, we have seen how can we manage the campaign. So, uh, there are various channels that are used for making the marketing process automated uh, of which email is the uh, most uh, preferred one. So, we'll be uh, knowing about this. So email has been a core tool for business communication when, when it comes to email marketing. So it is the most profitable and cost effective direct marketing. It lets business to share new products, sales and updates with a customer on their contact list. Like from uh, order confirmations to sending newsletters to the required uh, contact groups and all, emails are the uh, uh, most essential uh, part of the growth and management of a business. And uh, with this, uh, the ma the marketing has become more automated because with the help of email, thousands of and thousands of mail can be uh, sent to the required recipient uh, in a you know very less amount of time. So that is the, the I would say that is the advantage of uh, using this channel for the purpose of uh, marketing automation. So. In order to uh, keep our communication via email uh, secured, we have to uh, set up a domain and we have uh, seen our previous session, how can we set up a domain. So after setting up a domain, we should have an, uh, we should have a separate email address. So how can we set up that email address that we can use uh, for the purpose of uh, email marketing campaign. So for that, we'll go into setup marketing. Here we have email address option. You can see that these are the already created ones and this is the one that I have created if I click on this edit option. So here we have to provide the email address that can be distinct and after providing the email address uh, we will be uh, provided a certain authorization code on the on the address uh, of which we have logged into the instance. So this is the authorization code that I have been uh, provided and it, I have uh, kept it as private. And after providing the authorization code, our email address could be validated. You can see that under the validated option as I provided that code. So it is uh, provided like this. So if I click on new email here, so here we have to provide the address. If we want to keep it as private, so we can keep it as private. And after saving it, uh, we'll be provided an authorization code that we have to uh, enter or paste it over there in order to make our email address validated. So this is the second step towards uh, the email marketing campaign. After it, uh, we will be uh, creating a template that we can use uh, for, on the marketing campaign. So for that, we'll go into list, marketing and marketing templates. So we'll uh, click on new template here. Then under the type, either uh, do we want to take the campaign or the online form. So I am taking here campaign. Then it will ask us for the template layout. So I am taking this blank scriptable. Here we have to provide the name for our uh, template. I have also provided the subject. You can see that uh, here, uh, if we have not saved it, so on this particular email ID on which I have logged in onto this NetSuite instance, so uh, I will be notified uh, with this preview. So I am removing it. If you want to get notified uh, for this template, so you can uh, leave it uh, as it is. So I have provided a subject. If you want to uh, select any of the files, so if I select this file option, so under the drop down, we can select these already created files that are there. And if we do not want to select the file, uh, we can select the text editor here with the help of which we can uh, write down or uh, mention our text here.
So I have provided a text here. And now I will be saving it. So you can see that our campaign has been saved now. This is the one. If I click open it. So it contains this text here. Now uh, what is the use of this uh, email uh, marketing campaign? Uh, previously we have seen how the marketing campaign can be created. So if I open any of it. Or if I open the one that I have created. I will edit it. So if we go down under the event sub tab here within the email. So here uh, I can use that template that I have previously uh, create uh, sorry we created just now that is winter sale promotion. Followed by that the title and all has been changed. And we can keep uh, change the status to execute if you want to uh, send it towards all the uh, people or the recipient who are falling within this group and we can also define the date and time here. So in this way we can uh, make the use of the email uh, marketing template that we have created and we can uh, assign it on to the required uh, event under the email sub tab here so that the required uh, template also or the required notification that we want to send to our recipient will be sent to them. So that is the uh, use of uh, uh, email marketing campaign. So that's all about the topic. Thank you.